Sat before us today, we have what is actually a goblin vacuum cleaner, except it is not made by goblin, this is made by Easylek. This is my friend Richie and this is his vacuum cleaner and together we're going to take a look at it and see what it's like. Yes, hello my vacuum cleaner chums, how are you today? And hello to Richie, who hello. has come round to visit to actually drop me off some quite cool stuff. As usual. The, as usual, I'm sure we will see them. But he also bought me this, which, where did you get this from? Well, it was from another collector. It was. Um, and that's gone off. Sorry. That's back. <laughs> <laughs> All of my software is a bit weird. Um, yeah, it come from Jake. Yes. Um, Jake had been promising it to me for ages. Jake is a collector who lives quite close to me so when Richie came up Jake came over we had a lovely afternoon and we're left with this which is actually a goblin yeah because I'm not too familiar on these but this is more your forte isn't yeah it? ish it's yeah. a goblin it's Richie is the expert. based on a 105 I think um, sold as an exclusive to different electricity boards and that is what that is because that is and I did a quick Google, Google the Eastern Electricity Board Company oh is that what it is I oh, think so okay. yeah used that as their brand name in the 60s and it goes with the Electra plug if I just undo the cable to show everybody because we're quite far away today we'll come a bit closer soon it is an Electra plug which we have seen before there we go it's an Electra plug but the company also badged up vacuum cleaners. They didn't make this, did they? No. This is only a badged no, up. No, just a badged up machine. Everything else is the same. And it's very strange. It did take us a while to get the handle control. It works now. So well, it's right. It does, but <laughs> it's very, very stiff, it's isn't it? clunky, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. But it's not bad. It's got a very stick, stick, stiff, thick handle grip on it. That's a bit yeah. odd. But a nice... Aluminium, I presume. I think it's aluminium, it's something like brushed aluminium. Yeah, some sort of pig iron. Quite chunky as well for such a small handle. With the cable bit going in the back. It's just, it's a weird machine. When you look at it, you can see bits from lots of different manufacturers, can't yeah, you? It's obviously yeah. in the standard soft bag style, yet with the sort of handle release that we saw on the hot point. And sort of a cross between a, a hot point and a junior isn't it? It is, you can tell they're obviously trying to improve on the junior without actually mentioning that it, they're trying to be like that. Let's bring you a bit closer and we'll have a look at the machine itself. Oh, there we go, so this is also the first time that myself and Mr Ritchie are fully looking at it because we haven't really. So what we have ascertained is that the bag, which looks enormous, it's huge. that is quite a huge bag. The zip was a bit stiff, but luckily Richie lubricated it a little bit. It's still a bit... Ah, yes, look, there are bits of teeth missing. Ah, oh, don't go that far then. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I went that far. <gasps> no. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, no. Right, well, after some issues, we have actually realised that the bag is physically falling apart. We've never seen this before, look, but the teeth of the zip are just coming off and falling onto the floor. Now, Richie's had bags fixed before, yep. he's just been saying, and luckily the material is very good. We've seen Mr. Hoover Lux, so new zips into bags. So, bit of a shame, but also one of the, the big dangers of buying cloth bagged unknown origin vacuums, and one that you must be aware of, and at least be prepared, like Richie yeah. is, to... Take it like the thing it is. I'm not punching him in the face for baking his nice hoover. <laughs> However, inside we have an inner cloth bag, which apparently reads using instruction book carefully, which we haven't got, so we're just going to have to wing it. But it's got some very convoluted bag holding system on it. And all of this undoes. I won't undo it now because it is quite dirty. And yeah, it comes out of that. Not quite sure I like it. I've never been a fan of internal cloth bags, so I say nah. you'd be far better off just popping it out of the bellows like so and possibly just cable tying a heifer flow to it. 
and never touch it again. The bellows seem okay. That's good. <laughs> that, that, <laughs> it's not broken. That's good. one thing. <laughs> yeah, these are quite unobtainium. Uh, that's probably one of the better things to have broken. That's just unzip. Yeah. Sewn into the bag. You can get any on zip into there. So, yeah, there we go. Um, whoops. If we. Oof, we climb it. I don't want to do it any more than that. <laughs> we can turn it upside down. It's actually quite boring because we have the brush roll, which is actually in very good condition with beta strips and very oh i'll pop the belt off very dense quite small brush strips don't feel i've seen brushes that dense it's a little bit corroded but equally most of that will come off with a good clean and there is the ratings plate look at it, it says goblin bvc it is a 102887 made oh hello can we decipher that 9838. That's no good, is it? It wasn't made in 1998, was it? No. When do you reckon it was made? Um, 60s, 60s, isn't it? I'd imagine 60s. Yeah. Late, late 60s. Because I know they've done a lot. Of, I know Mr. Doreen's got some Electra upright, which looks very, very similar to this. Again, I presume they will share rough characteristics. So we shall find it's turned on. Yes, well, that was how it runs without the belt on. I forgot the belt popped off. <laughs> we lift off the... Well, if we lift off the cover, we can actually see that it has what we think is possibly the original spare belt. I mean, it's a little bit <laughs> peaky now. But... Don't think it'll be turning much. No. But equally, it sits on there, which is quite cool. It's something that I've never seen before. No one Oric. It sits underneath the bottom. But yeah, your spare belt sits on there. Like so, we have fitted a new belt. It seems that the Hoover Junior flat belt is okay enough and it's probably what they would have used because I doubt I they'd so, have yeah. bespoke made another belt, would they? And we can so. turn it on and in theory it will now have... <laughs> I don't know if you would like to perhaps put some sawdust down and we'll see how it picks up. Well, I've got an assistant today, I can stand out the way. How much do you want? Uh, just a little bit, we won't, I won't fill your cleaner full of sawdust. How much? Yeah, just think it about, look, and, oh, look at that, look at that action. There you go. And in theory, it seemed like it, it, it sounded like it. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah beats. Clean up the mess, show us how it's done. Slight issue with the cable grommet, I think. Oh, tuck it on in, make it highly modest. After I broke it. Nicker and I said, oh, well, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do that. <laughs> yeah, just hold it. Yeah, I'm quite surprised with that. That's got a fair nice little bit of agitation. It seems to be. I mean, I doubt it's really easy. Oh, yeah, it's got a bit of adjustment there. Yeah, I think it's got a bit of adjustment there. Yeah, just like that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, look, it's that's for, that's for your bike carpet. Right. Low. This is the low carpet, so I say maybe that's a better. 
I can feel it on the floor, it's certainly giving it a little bit of a... Issues. I think this is upside down, that's the problem. Ah, obviously with something. the cable guide. That's it. Ah. Oh, then again, a little drop of hot glue, just there. Yeah, I think that's the best way, isn't it? Would probably hold it, because again, I doubt you could walk into your local East and Electricity Board showroom and buy that exact part. Yeah. <laughs> oh dear. Right, let's, that's all right. let's sum up and say our final thoughts. There we go, really. A look at... A vacuum cleaner that, again, there aren't many of. Not many people have experienced one. And again, it's it's like the, the Hot Point Junior, which again was Richie's. It's more surprising than I thought. Best than I thought. Yeah, much better. You could hear it pounding the carpet. You could see it doing stuff. I mean, I think where these fall down is being used daily for yeah. three or four years. That's when they can't cope with it. They're not too bad mm. on their own. I'd imagine getting parts of them probably wasn't great. No, because again... Would you go to the electricity board showroom or would you go to Goblin? And then if you went to Goblin, it'd be a different part number. This is the thing. Yeah, this is, again, probably why they, they weren't that popular. Although they probably sold quite a well. They, they've just all been thrown out now. Yeah, that's This, it. this is gone. a rare survivor. So yeah. there we go. Really, short, sweet video. Thank you, Richie, for letting us have that's a right. look at this quite rare vacuum cleaner. Very welcome. And I will see you soon. Bye-bye.